I've been with the Sheriff's, Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office for 31 years now. I actually retired last April from full-time service. Um, I was a lieutenant, 30 years of service. I was, a hot, I was a crisis negotiator for most of my career. I've talked people off bridges. I've saved lives. I've talked somebody with a gun to his head for over three and a half hours. I've easily saved more lives doing this by sitting here for a half hour or so every eight weeks. This will, this will be, I believe, my 132nd donation. And if every donation can save three lives, it trumps everything I've done in police work. Don't get me wrong, I love what I did. I love that I helped those people and that, that will always be very special to me. But I've done so much more through this just by giving blood. I had posted um, a comment about, y'all had said something about, I think it was, that y'all needed, y'all were in dire need of you know, blood, people, please go out and donate. So I liked it, shared it, and commented, you know, people, you know, please go out, um, save a life, things like that. Um, and then I think you had commented on it. Uh, I always post usually when I come because uh, for me, I know the more people I can tell about maybe donating, hopefully it reaches somebody that might not have ever thought about donating. Um, so you would reach out to me on Facebook from that, and it just kind of went from there. I gotta admit, that chokes me up a little bit to think about donating that close to Katrina. Um, knowing what I went through, um, I was a sergeant in a patrol district, uniform patrol at the time. Knowing how Katrina hit, I, I saw a lot of the impact in this area. Uh, I, I actually forgot, didn't even realize I donated that close to Katrina. Mm -hmm. So to know that I did that, um, that really, that, that hits home. I was a high school senior. They came, did a blood drive in my school. Um, but I was in my early 20s when I got a phone call close to my blood donation uh, time saying, do you know what we do with your blood? I said, no, actually, I, I know it's so negative and I'm the universal donor. Go, no, but you have a special type um, we use your blood often for small children, babies mm -hmm. who are born uh, who need blood uh, because it's clean and they can use it right away. And that, well, that was hooked. I, I love kids. I have three of my own. Um, so that was it. I, I became religious about my eight week donation after that. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I just, I assume that most people would want to give blood because, you know, it's extra that your your body can replenish at you know a dime. So why not give? Um, it's the least I can do for my fellow man. You know, if you look at it that way, and also about being an organ donor. You know, you, you don't need these things when you're gone. So why not save another life through that? So um, I hope you know by the time I'm finished with it, someone can use it. <laughs> <laughs> so. And we learned it growing up to our, our father and our aunt, his sister, our aunt, were blood donors also. They were sporadic, not, they, not quite like we do now, but, um, but we saw that as an example too. And I, mm -hmm. I remember that's why I signed up at high school the first time, because I remember my aunt donating blood. Mm -hmm. Mom did it a few times too, yeah, but at, toward the end of her, uh, her life. Um, she did it several times. Mm -hmm. She even... When she got cancer, she tried to go and give blood, and she couldn't because of everything that was going on. But she wanted to. She tried. <laughs> so. But we're yeah. fortunate people, and we've had good examples. So we just, you give back. <laughs>